I'll never understand who's buying these games. Madden 21 sold 20% better than last year's copy-paste affair, and in fact EA even called it the best launch in franchise history. Madden 21 is another copy-pasted mess from EA, and the PC version is sitting with a 0.4 user score on Metacritic. But you know what it has on Steam? 53%. Guys, what are we doing? But what is it about the Steam version that's tickling everybody's fancy? Well, let's just take a nice little look at that. <coughs> I would like a refund. This is an accidental purchase. 169 hours on record. 168 at review time. Someone is lying. Heike sucks, but sh uh, it's the only football game you can play, so what will you do? Fuck EA, LMAO. With a whole 350 hours on record, bro. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? High key sucks, 350 hours. Also, if you think Madden is the only football game you can play, like, can you, pl can you please look around a little more? Like, yeah, it's the only officially NFL licensed football game you can play, but if you want an officially licensed NFL football game, Emulate one of the old ones. Like, if you're on PC and you want to play an NFL game, just emulate one of the old Madden games. Or find an indie football game that has, like, all the names changed and everything, because EA stills holding on to this stupid exclusive NFL license, so there's no other NFL games, sure, but there are so many better football games on PC. And again, if you want a Madden game, just emulate one of the 360 ones. We want NHL 21 and UFC 4. Remove exclusives from EA Play. Bring back Fight Night. Recommended 46 hours on record. Thank you for your contribution. This was very helpful. I'm glad that we established that Madden 21 is a recommendation. EA is strangling me, forcing me to write this positive review. <laughs> Product received for free. <laughs> With the way that EA is as a company, honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if they are kind of just like sending the game out and telling you to make a positive review. View. Like, I'd, like, I wouldn't even be surprised if that's a thing that's happening. Like, sh uh, if I got Madden 21 for free, I'd probably put 300... No, I wouldn't. So let me start off by saying yes, I do enjoy Madden 21. Even though I mainly play Franchise, and it's a carbon copy of Madden 20, Franchise, it's still enjoyable. Do I think EA is lazy? Yes. Do I think the NFL should switch to 2K? Yes. No, don't switch to 2K. Just release the license! Stop with the exclusivity licensing, and that's how we got in this situation. The franchise really needs more creativity. If Madden can do that, it would be a lot better. You know what's not gonna happen? That. You know why? This. Isn't exclusivity such a fun and amazing creativity device that makes gaming so much better as a whole? Trace McSorley. Okay. When I try and open it on Steam, it says my game isn't installed. I don't understand this. Recommended. 274 hours on record. And only four products in a the account of the person who wrote this. I'm just kind of lost here. Probably one of the worst Maddens, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Recommended. Why are we accepting mediocrity from some of the most profitable franchises in the, in the galaxy? Like, why are we doing this? Oh, it's better than nothing, I guess. How much money does EA need to make a decent game? Like, at what point are we going to stop just accepting this? Best game ever, bought tons of credits, so cool. Okay. Trash UI. Recommended. T4 says for T4 ga. Recommended. Dursifsk. Recommended. PP Poo Poo. Recommended. Madden. Hehe. <laughs> Recommended. Football. Saucy. Boner. Football. 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 OMG, the game hasn't changed. Fam, football hasn't changed. It's Madden. It's great if you're into Madden. Okay, for starters, you're just wrong. The NFL has actually had a decent amount of rule changes over the last few years. Not good ones, but I mean, they are changes. So football hasn't changed, and yeah, it has. And also, if football hasn't changed, why are we buying a new Madden game? I, we're not supposed to talk about that one. Look, I do, I try, I try to just like let people live their lives, you know? I try to let people just do their thing with games. But at what point do we have to put our foot down? 
Like, at what point do us, as people who enjoy video games and who enjoy this industry, at what point are we supposed to just put our foot down and just say stop? Stop buying these fucking games. You know, as much as as much as I like to try and let people buy the games they want to buy, please, I'm begging you, stop buying Madden. Stop buying FIFA. If they start losing money and their sales start declining, they will either snap out of it and actually put effort into the next game, or the license holders will revoke the exclusivity deals and give game rights to a publisher who actually gives a shit. Uh, remember back in the old days when there were multiple studios making officially licensed sports games? And remember how sports games only went to sh uh, after that stopped being a thing because EA bought out the exclusivity licenses and a garbage truck is going by my apartment right now and it's really obnoxious, but now it's gone? Literally the only thing keeping us from going back to those days of competition is the fact that people keep buying Madden and they keep buying FIFA. Literally the only thing keeping us from getting competition back in the sports genre is all you people still buying this shit and just being complacent with it. So yeah, stop, please.